Welcome to another video from Robotic Mower Services. I've got a charging station top upside down here on the bench because I want to go through some stuff for all of you guys that are having problems where your mower goes in and it doesn't charge or it actually starts to discharge in the charging station or it doesn't want to park in a charging station because of the charging current supervisor feature telling you don't stay in there, there's a problem. And you've gone through and you say, I've got 28 volts right here at these contacts. I know everything's good. Why won't it stay in there? Why is it discharging? Why isn't it charging? Real simple thing to check. With this thing mounted on the charging station, this is the way it would look. Your mower comes in here, this is where it parks. Reach up under there, feel around for your positive wire and your negative wire. If you feel up in there for one of those and either one of them moves, like you see this one here, move up and down freely. And over here, the negative one, the black one, moves up and down. Whole screw rotates everything. That is a problem, it should not move. That is a bad connection. That means moisture is going to get back air. Uh, the contact is going to get oxidized. You're going to get corrosion starting. We've had some where the, uh, the positive one gets loose. The ring terminal actually gets hot because it's such a bad connection. And over time, every time the motor comes into charge, the ring terminal gets hot or the wire gets hot right, right back here. Uh, you go to push on this wire a little bit to see if it's loose and the ring terminal snaps off or the wire just snaps off because it's so corroded and brittle from getting hot. Real easy to do. You don't need any tools to check that. You don't need any meters to check that. You just reach up under there. If they move, that's it. Then it's time to get the tools out. Screw under this hinge, screw under that hinge, take this top off, take the charging contacts out, T20 Torx bit, to take these out. And again, take those screws out back there too to get this top off originally. Um, but yeah, back to these uh, T20, take that out too. And a T20 for the screws here that hold your ring terminals on. Take that all apart terminals and the wires clean everything up real good make sure it's uh, in good usable condition yet put it back together tighten these up so you have a good solid connection now if you're saying well i've got 28 volts here i don't understand why it's not working you could have 28 volts there you got 28 volts all day long what's the current what's the amperage that's the issue if this has some oxidation back there and that mower is supposed to be sensing like 7,000 amps, or sorry, 7 amps, or, um, you know, 5.6 amps, which would be 5,600 milliamps, and it's not sensing that, you know, if you've got a 450X or an all-wheel drive or a, a 550, it's going to come in, it's going to be looking for that 7,000 milliamps, which would be 7 amps, follow along here, it's looking for 7,000 milliamps, and uh, you open up your mower, go into the menu, or sorry, go into the, the quick info menu, and you see that you've only got, you know, 3,000. I'm sorry, uh, let, let's say, let's make this easier for everybody. Uh, you've only got like 500 milliamps coming through there. Well, that's how you have an issue here. That's how you know you have an issue. You have 28 volts coming through, but you have too low of a current. Um, yeah, for anybody that's not following that, I, I hate to get into all that because I want to keep this video as short as possible. But uh, just think of it this way. If you have a 315X, the transformer for that mower puts out 28 volts DC, but it's at 1.3 amps. If you have a 430X, the transformer for that puts out 28 volts, but it's at 4.2 amps. Uh, 450X has a transformer that puts out 28 volts, but it's 7 amps. That's the difference there. That's the difference. Why? And that's why you can't just look for 28 volts and say, yep, I've got enough voltage here. We're good to go. You have to have the proper amperage too. And any kind of resistance or bad connection is going to hamper that, that current coming through and getting into the mower. And that's why you're going to have those problems where it comes in and it backs out and doesn't stay parked or why you're going to have the mower coming in and possibly start discharging or just not charge at all because you have bad connections here at these wires. So, Fix them up, make sure they're good to go. It might not solve all your problems, but it's definitely gonna help. Um, in some cases, like in this one here, it's going to solve our problem. Uh, this isn't one where we just rigged this up so we can show you this. This is actually off of our 435X that mows here out back. Uh, it, would, it would go into dock in a charging station and then it would just keep coming out and say charging station blocked. We'd hit the button and eventually sometimes we'd go in there. But, uh, you know, it got to the point where it did that and the next morning I'd go out push it in there and it wouldn't charge I'd have to kind of move it around and I reached up under there and I knew for sure like that's what was going on that wire was loose this is the issue so we're gonna fix that up um, so we're gonna replace uh, this whole harness on ours here because we have we can actually see corrosion here at the negative wire 
And again, the, uh, the whole harness comes with the contacts, everything, the red and black wire, all this stuff is one assembly, available on our website www.roboticmowerservices.com go on there you can get that you cannot get the contacts individually you have to get the whole thing together as one set so if you go to um, check yours out and you know this wire got hot and that breaks off you don't want to just put a new ring terminal in there chances are that wire got hot other places too you want to replace the whole thing if you take this apart you find that back here the red wire the black wire the insulation is split off that wire is starting to corrode. I can guarantee you it's got moisture in there. It's starting to corrode. You want to replace that whole thing because you don't know how far it's spread or where it's hiding at in that harness. Again, place to go to find that part. Any other parts for your automowers, www.roboticmowerservices.com. You can't find what you're looking for on there. Contact us through the website or send us an email, info at roboticmowerservices.com or tech support at roboticmowerservices.com. And we'll try to get you hooked up the best we can. Uh, bear with us because we are extremely busy um, pretty much year-round anymore. So it could take a little while until we get back to your emails uh, or answer your phone calls. But we, we try to help everybody as best we can. And uh, this is one of the ways we want to try to help you guys out here by showing you what we're talking about when we, uh, we email you or talk to you on the phone and say, eh, you got to check these wires here. It doesn't matter if you have 28 volts does not matter if you have 28 volts coming through there if you don't have the right current that's going to be your problem so that's going to do it for this video here as always thanks for watching be sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll talk to you soon